I, I really don't, don't know what to make of all of this. Was the evidence we've seen genuine? Or was it fake? His, his lordship would be fuming. Any unsightly rubbish should be disposed of promptly, as I said. <laughs> the stinking rich are always guilty of something. You! <laughs> Mark my words. I feel terribly ashamed that I ever doubted that lovely man who gave us the lovely park. Wait, Gilded is free? Wow. Oh god, yes. Just paid your five shillings and go home. A true wild card. Gilded reminds me of the penguin from Batman, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Genuine or fake? Oh my god, someone's trying to do something. Hidden, cover up. I still say it was Granny, Kappa. The knitting was all a charade. <clears throat> now that proceedings have unfolded in this way. Cool. I am compelled to declare a premature end to this trial. Furthermore, the court must accept the defendant's plea. <laughs> I thank you kindly, my lord. I hereby pronounce the verdict of this court. Objection! But, but we still haven't determined if the bloodstain in the omnibus is genuine or not. We don't know if these witnesses are telling the truth or a pack of lies. We have no idea about the truth. Lord Van Zeeks. My lord, the case made by the prosecution was flawed, plain and simple. If indeed the omnibus presented as evidence was tampered with, the prosecution is at fault for allowing such a disgraceful perversion of justice to take, to take place. <laughs> my sincerest apologies, my lord. Objection! But, but, wait! When we were evacuated from the court, Lord Van Zeeks ordered the evidence to be secured. I'm afraid the prosecution cannot shun responsibility in this matter. That, that, that's so unfair! The culpability of the defendant has not, at the present time, been established by this court. Consequently, the jury will not be required to proffer judgment. What? <laughs> well, Lord Van Zeeks. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, so it has. As for you, my dear fella, I couldn't have asked for a better defense. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me this is all been a grand waste of time? <laughs> Tis the law of the land, my good man. If ye'd like to pursue this matter further, ye can always go ahead and try to change the law. Magnus McGilded. Good, good grief! You've more to say to me, have you? Just one thing. A warning. This is far from over.
Well, something to be looking forward to then. <laughs> I hereby pronounce the defendant, Mr. Magnus McGilded. Not guilty. We'll be back for vengeance. Granny Why? <laughs> Man, what a case, dude. I, I can't believe it. Oh, this is outrage. What are you talking about? The man's been cleared. He's innocent. Objection! Seriously, dude. Oh man, Magnus, we're coming back for you. We're coming back for you. With the courtroom in pandemonium for the second time that day, the judge delivered his verdict. And my first ever trial in Great Britain came to an abrupt end. With the defendant being found not guilty, ostensibly, victory for us. Your boy Vic, dude, what's going on, homie? Welcome back to the stream, dude. Happy New Year, man. How you doing? So who really killed, dude? Is is I'm 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 definitely leaning toward Magnus. He, him and his fucking his little goon, the one that fucking shot that uh that smoke grenade, dude. They a hundred percent fucking tampered with that shit, but we just weren't able to prove it in this case. It ain't over till it's fucking over, baby. Eighteenth February, five fourteen p.m. The Old Bailey defendant's antechamber. <sighs> that certainly was a long trial. <sighs> yes, it was. Your first ever trial on foreign soil and your first victory. It was a wonderful performance. My heartfelt congratulations. And to you, Mrs. Sato. Thank you for your assistance. I... I suppose we should be happy. The, the trouble is, we're still completely in the dark about what actually happened. Well, we didn't have enough time. But isn't it wrong? I mean, who was actually responsible for Mr. Mason's death? We don't even know that. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, bro, bro. Thanks, man. How you doing tonight, dude? I'm, I'm gonna be wrapping up the stream soon, but I appreciate you stopping by. Little goon. <laughs> yeah, dude, little goon junior. The sole aim of the defense is to obtain a verdict that exonerates the defendant. You carried out your duty to perfection. I that you did. Mr. McGilded. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Yes, it is wrong. Although I have no idea what. XD. Foxy, good morning. Thanks for the 19 months, dude. How you doing, man? We're, 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 we're wrapping up case number three. This, this, dude, this case was wild, man. This one was wild. How you doing today, dude? Appreciate the resub. And with the Prime, man. Thank you, dude. You've been giving me your free Prime sub every fucking month, and that means a lot. Thank you. This might have to be my favorite case if they find out who the person or person are that actually find out who killed them. Yeah, dude, this is definitely not over with. Well, I mean, case number three is going to be over, but Magnus and his uh, and his little goonie, a little, little sus. Ah, and that girl is with him, too. Well, it 
seems the stories are true. No? What stories? About the six enormous fireworks they, they do be letting off when there's a verdict of not guilty. I'm sure you must have seen them now. Spectacular, wouldn't you say? Yes, definitely. I'd heard it was a sight to behold and to be sure it and to be sure it was. And I have you to thank, I suppose, for having an opportunity to see it. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure I really did anything. What on earth are you saying, fella? How did I walk out there a free man then? I don't think it was so much thanks to me as down to your planning. Hmm. You're a straight talking fella, aren't you? I must say, you had me astray in the head there once or twice. But you're young and headstrong. <laughs> uh, just water under the bridge. Congratulations, Mr. McGilded, on having your name cleared. But nothing's resolved. There's only one thing that matters to me. Oh? Aye. They've all seen that I didn't do that odious and absonin indeed. Tis grand, is it not? I suppose it is. Now the fine fellows of Scotland Yard can take matters in hand and sort out any wee details. They'll see it for what it is. They'll get to the truth. I've absolute faith in them, so I have... After all... I do... I do be providing a good number of their wages with all the taxes I pay. <laughs> it's... It's not that funny. So then. As we agreed aforehand. One thousand guineas. For your troubles. For your troubles. As we agreed aforehand, 1,000 guineas for your troubles, fella. Oh, oh, no, 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 I, I couldn't possibly accept that much. Are be wist? You're a humble people, are you? You're from the East? Well, if you insist. But have this, still and all. Ye deserve a reward. Mr. Magnus McGilded. Everything is ready, sir. If you'd like to follow me into the courtroom. In into the courtroom? What's this, officer? The sooner than I was led to believe. I hope it's not inconvenient, sir. There were some changes to the schedule. Hmm? Well, I must be making tracks now. It's time for the inspection. Sorry, what inspection? They're going to examine the omnibus again, so I'm told. I asked if I could be present for it myself. They're going to examine it again? Actually, I'm under no obligation to take part in any more of this matter now. But as an upstanding member of the of London society, I do be doing me best to help what I can. It is a gentleman's duty, so it is. <laughs> so then, fare thee well. 
was an absolute pleasure meeting you. I hope you have a whale of a time while you're studying here in Great Britain. And there he goes. A free man. Oh. I, I forgot she was here too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't move. Whereas I want to say get a move on. She really does take forever to load that thing. Miss, Miss Lestrade, would, would you mind putting that thing down? You're a grown up. Sorry? And I ain't, and I ain't all grown ups. Uh, ah, it, 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 there you are. Huh? New character? She just carries it with her, dude. Naughty, 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 running off like that. Is, is, is this some kind of a picnic? Who's this little girl now? And taking that with you as well. I was looking forward to the trial run of my experimental smoke grenade launcher. Ha! Oh! Do you want to play? You won't beat me. Um, ex ex excuse me, but who, who, who are you? Oh, good day to you. Lul. I'm, well, the inventor, I suppose, of that machine. The in inventor? Well, normal smoke grenades are so dull, don't you agree? White, white, and more white. If you have to be shrouded in smoke, it could at least be a pretty color, I thought to myself. But do, do, do we have to be shrouded in smoke, though? But at all? Now we get lollies in this game? I just took my eyes off it for a moment while I was changing in onto a different omnibus, and she pinched it. I fitted it with a telegraphic beacon. <laughs> Tello, what was it? What? I have no idea what this girl is talking about. Anyway, you're coming with me now. Back to my laboratory. What? 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 What for? To apologize, of course, silly. To my technician. What? You, 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 mean, you mean say sorry? You must say sorry when you've done something wrong. Surely an adult has told you that before. An adult? Hmm. I don't listen to no adults. Come along then. Follow me. Uh, uh, fine. Have it your way. Oh, good! You see, I knew you want to do the right thing in the end. I... I'm fairly sure that what she wants is not to get shot by that massive gun of yours. <laughs> this game and the fucking characters, dude. Bloop. We'll be leaving now. So sorry for all the fuss.
She was a lively one. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? I'm a sim to something rap rap rap. I can't even Eminem that did it. It's just a chopped liver. Okay, all right, I'm gonna shut up. Welcome back, Katharina. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I, could, I, could, I, could, I could sense the fire behind that. <laughs> Lul! Brought Brian out. <laughs> well, you think perhaps we ought to be on our way now, too? Yes, you're right. But. Where to? Oh! We haven't had time to find a place to stay. No sooner had we arrived in London than we had to rush here. All our traveling cases are still with the bailiff. Hmm. I was originally planning to spend today in search of lodgings. But at, at this late hour in the day, I'm afraid we may be out of luck. Hmm. Don't worry though, I have a plan. If the worst comes to the worst, I've heard of a lovely park where we could spend the night. Please tell me you're not thinking of McGilded Park. I know it may be a little chilly at this time of year, but our youthfulness will see us through. <laughs> She's so adorable. I'm <laughs> not so sure about that. I think a midwinter London night will freeze a young person solid just as easily as an elderly one. She's crying. Oh, oh dear. That, that doesn't sound agreeable. Ah, now I'm starting to regret turning Mr. McGilded down. Oh, Susato, wipe those tears, baby. I'm sorry, bro. That 1,000 guineas would have paid for a lovely warm room or mansion. And so, the trial to determine my worthiness for the study tour was over by the end of our first day in London. However, as we were soon to learn, there were more trying times ahead. Just as the Reaper of the Bailey had warned, the case was far from over. Here, it was already engulfed. No one was supposed to be allowed in here before we started investigating. <gasps> no. Oh, good God. There's, there's someone in there. Oh. Oh. This, this can't be. What? Bruh. Enemy! Oh, shit, boys. They didn't even get to do the effect in investigation, bro, because someone set it on fire, dude. And someone was in there. Holy shit, dude. I love this game so much. 
It gets better and better, I swear. Oh, hey, that you was nuts. Oh! Sorry. What? That took a turn, right? Meeting was fine, I guess. Now I'm thinking about food. <laughs> this, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. <laughs> I like food. I like you. I was a good person today. I took lunch with me from home, so I don't eat some unhealthy stuff. Aw, nice, Katharina. What did you make? Oh my god, so adorable. Susato's my wifey. Still need pizza or ice cream. Lol. <laughs> yes, get that cookies and cream ice cream. The far cutscene. Nani, anime, Christo, oh, what? That was freaking awesome, that took a turn. This is crazy, 10 out of 10, dude, yeah, man. Now we're on the adventure of the clouded Kokoro. So, the, um, next Tuesday we'll start episode four. And yeah, episode four and five, we're on the last two cases for this first game. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, it does have two games, but yeah, we'll be wrapping up the first, uh, uh, of the two games, I'd say maybe maybe around like mid Feb, mid Feb or early March. If I'm playing this like once a week on Tuesdays, but yeah, dude, this shit's good. This shit's good. And granted, these cutscenes are few and far between, but I'm glad they have them. That was that was a pretty solid setup. That was a pretty solid setup. But yeah. On that note, it is almost 2 a.m. I should have ended stream like two hours ago, but oh man, I just, I wanted to just keep plowing through, dude. So, yo, dude, we'll, we'll start up episode four next week. That was good, though. That was good.